Hello everybody, welcome to the video. I hope you're all doing great. And in this video I'm going to go over some of the changes coming in the new version of the overhaul mod. So the first thing that I will go over is the summons. And I'm going to go in a battle and then I will talk more about it. Okay, so if you have been watching my videos you know now that summons will be permanent. And I'm going to demonstrate that here. Okay, as you can see the turret the turret doesn't have lifeline anymore, it now spawns with regeneration. And that applies to the other summons too, except for the Boom Boom Buddy. And Professor Chaos has a completely new summon, if you have probably seen this already, but I will demonstrate it too. As you can see, instead of a Chaos Mexican, it's now a Chaos Kid. And I gave him the name Deathslinger Chaos Minion. And he has three powers instead of just one. So the first one is just a normal melee power that you had before. And now you have also a burning power and also a ranged power. <laughs> Customers abuse sales crabs. Time for the Tupperware party. Uh, for Tupperware, his turret is also like new kids. And the last someone that is changed is Backstory U. As you can see, he now has all of the powers of the original Nether Bomb. Okay, so the next big change is the AI. Uh, there have been a lot of fixes and improvements, and I'm going to demonstrate that in Civil War 4. Okay, now I'm going to electrocute uh, Craig, and then you can see what he does. <laughs> you knocked that bitch down to Kyle's reading level. Entropy! Die, puny humanling! Good news, everybody, it's my turn. <laughs> Working on it. 
As you can see, Craig used his blocking power to negate um, shock damage. And I'm not going to say exactly which effects he uses this for, so you can find that out for yourself. Um, one of the next AI fixes is Toolshed and his power 1 Drill Slinger is now fixed so the AI can use it properly and this change alone makes Civil War 2 and 4 already a bit harder because it hits really hard. As you can see the AI knows how to use this move properly now and it's not like I expected, I thought the AI had trouble using it but it works perfectly fine so be prepared for toolshed to no longer go easy on you. And the next topic will be about general gameplay. Um, one of the more gameplay changes is that all of the regeneration effects now have a separate icon. So all of the ones from Antidote and Maximum Antidote and Dire Shroud now have a unique icon. Like you can see, the scaled regeneration is purple. As you can see, you can see the purple regeneration, so you know it's from Dire Shroud and it's the scaled one. And next is Maximum Antidote. And as you can see, it has a blue regeneration effect. Let's go. And also, the original effects for the Antidote were restored, but only for the Maximum one. The Enriched Antidote has the normal icon, as you can see. Uh, just a standard one, and the uh, normal antidote has a yellow icon. Back up. I'm really more of a healer than a fatter fellas, though I can do both. Go, butthole! As you can see, I can now look and see that Toolshed has regeneration from the regular antidote. So if I want to remove the bleeding, I know to give him an enriched antidote. Um, another thing that has been changed is the danger deck. Uh, as you can see, the challenges, uh, final showdown, and Mitch reloaded have been replaced back to their originals, but they have been changed up a bit. So let's take a look at those. Ultra. Okay, so as you can see, instead of having three of this guy, I placed in one of this guy. Um, he is from the start of the game, and you probably all know him. Now that was a punching. Time to DIY some. As you can see, the ultra modifier is also changed. So now it makes it that you are buried at the start of your turn. And that's all that's really changed now for this battle. So let's take a look at the other one.
Okay, so as you can see, Jared reloaded. Instead of having two Jareds and two Jareds 8, I swapped those duplicates with Detective Yates and this police assassin. As well as that, Jared, the Danger Deck Jared is also made a lot tougher. As you can see, he has 5 movement and his damage is a lot higher too. And he has a boss HP bar. Another change to the danger deck is this challenge right here. So let's go in and I'm gonna show you what's different. Ultra. Here comes that Midbury Justice bad guy's rage. Okay, so as you can see, this Mike Makowski is a little bit different. Uh, this is actually the unused version and I have finished him up a bit and placed him here in the danger deck instead of the normal one. As you can see that was a unique power exclusive to this version so it will make fighting him a little bit different. Um, now there are many more changes uh, in this newest version, much more than I just showed, but this is just to give you an idea of what's different. Um, a few other changes are that you can use the circle or B button to complete Action Plus minigames, which will be really nice if you don't like pressing A or X a lot. Uh, some of the mini games have also been moved around. So, for example, Sand Trap doesn't have it anymore, but it's been moved to Ice Prison. And there are, are a lot of other changes, like the immunities for the allies are also changed for some of them. And overall, a lot has been changed much, much more than I showed. So, you can get the newest version below. In the description is a link to Nexus Mods. I hope you all enjoy it and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and peace.